So Perplexity AI can now be connected to your Google Drive account, which is a useful feature. So instead of just uploading a document when you want to use Perplexity to read the document and maybe you want to learn something from it, you can actually just connect the document via Google Drive to your Perplexity account. And that is a lot better than just manually uploading the document because technically you can read the document or Perplexity can read the document in real time. If there is any changes on a document, Perplexity will refer to the latest version. So let me show you on how you can use this connector feature on Perplexity AI. First, let's navigate to perplexity.ai. And by the way, this new feature is only available for pro and enterprise users. I don't know much about whether or not this feature will eventually come to the free user. I hope so, but right now it is only for pro and enterprise users. Now, let's click this paperclip icon and then click add a connector. It will bring you to this page again and then you can click enable on Google Drive. So you have to connect your account, your Perplexity account to Google Drive and also give it access to some files on Google Drive. So here you have to enable this option and also this option. And after that, you can scroll down and click continue. Now my Google Drive account has been connected to my Perplexity account. The next thing that you can do is that you can select the file that you want to use for AI to refer when you are asking anything on Perplexity. Click on the paperclip icon again and then select Google Drive. So it will open this window and you can select the file that you want to refer. For this quick demonstration, I'll try to refer to this file which is just a list of some slang that Gen Z people used to use when they are having a conversation. I'm personally a Gen Z myself, but I have no idea the meaning behind this word. They do look like gibberish, but anyway, that's uh, out of topic. I'm going to search the file. The name is Gen Z Slangs. I'm going to select the file. I think it's going to be a lot faster if you're using the search method. So uh, just wait until the file is available here. Now the file has been basically uploaded to this chat window and then you can ask anything. Now I want to ask about, let's say, what is the slang number? 39. So number 39 is chat. That's the slang here. Now let's go back to perplexity. I will ask what is the slang number 39 and you can send a message. The AI model that you want to use is up to you. I will try to use maybe the sonar model. It's the fastest model at the moment and then just wait for it to give you the answer. It will read the document and it will give you accurate answer based on the document that you just provided from your Google Drive account. There you go. The number 39 slang is chat. Yeah, that is on point. That is accurate. Now, if I make a change on this document, let's say I want to change this point to be, let's say, bad. Go back. And if I ask it again, are you sure about that? Uh, let's check number 39 again. Send a message. And let's see if it is able to answer correctly based on the latest information. Okay, it's searching. Yeah, unfortunately, it still says this, even though the actual item is this one. So apparently the way it works that it's not actually referring, uh, referencing the document in real time. It is creating a copy on this chat window. But if you open a new chat window again, and if you're asking the same question, the answer will be different because it is basically pulling the new version, the new copy of the document. So it's not quite a real time, but it's still very useful if you want to uh, learn with the document or learn something from the document using Perplexity AI. Let me find the document first. Gen Z. Blanks again. And yeah, just wait. Now it is pulling the new version. So this version would be different than the previous one. So if I send a message, you'll see that it is giving me a different answer. All right, it says bad. This one says chat because it is using the previous version of the document. So it's not exactly real time, but still would be very, very useful if you want to get the latest version of the document. So make sure to always start a new chat window when you may have, you have made some changes on the document. 
Anyway, that's basically how you can use this new connector feature on Perplexity AI. If you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on my next video.